Ranger Bill, warrior of the woodland, struggling against extreme odds, traveling dangerous trails, showing rare courage in the face of disaster. In the air. On horseback. Or in a screaming squad car. Ranger Bill, his mind alert, a ready smile, unswerving, loyal to his mission. And all this in exchange for the satisfaction and pride of a job well done. I'd sure like to know why I have to be a college graduate just to ride horseback seven days a week. Johnny, I don't mind your letting off steam. That's what wives are for. But I don't like you getting so discouraged with your job. You're a good ranger. In fact, one of the best. And I really get disturbed seeing you this way. Janie, the smartest thing I ever did was getting you to marry me. You're a real tonic. I hope I am. But, Johnny... I'm afraid that even Jane Tonic might not be effective pretty soon, and you'll quit the ranger business. We both know you'd be making a terrible mistake if you did. Yeah, I know it. Have some coffee, and there's still some apple pie left if you'd like a piece. Oh, that'd be fine. That'd just be fine, Janie. Maybe this will quiet your restless spirit. Jane, do you know that we haven't seen a living soul in three months? Not one single person. Jane, hear that? It sounds like a horse. Maybe there's a real live person on it. There is. Oh, it's Stumpy. Well, don't just stand there and look at me like I'm something from another planet. It's me, Stumpy Jenkins. You know, the old grouch from headquarters. <laughs> oh, it's so good Why, to see you. Am I glad to see you, Stumpy. <laughs> Stumpy, would you like to finish the apple pie and have some coffee? Well, does a duck like to swim? Serve it up, Mrs. Bishop. Yes, sir, right away. I tell you, Johnny, I came all the way up here just to have some apple pie. Yes, sir. Well, I could smell it baking all the way to Naughty Pine. And that's some smeller I got in it. (laughs) (laughs) Say, young feller, how come you keep staring at me that way? Are you sure you're a real person? You know, like people. Boy, it's been so long since I've seen a living soul, I figured they all dropped dead or something. Let me touch you. Make sure you're real flesh and blood. Johnny, please. No, I'm just kidding, honey. I'm sure Stumpy doesn't mind. Well, I don't. <laughs> as long as I can eat this piece of apple pie. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead and eat. I think I'll eat mine, too. Uh, excuse me. Uh, well, I thank the Lord for these vittles. Uh, amen. What brings you here, Stumpy? Well, um... There, uh, nothing much. Uh, just routine trail inspection. Uh, Bill thought I ought to drop around this way and see how things are going. Uh, uh, what you folks been doing for excitement? Excitement? What's that? Never even heard of the word. Johnny, please. It's all right, Janie girl. Uh, I know how he feels. Well, I've been a ranger longer than I care to remember. And way back then, we didn't even have modern communications like we do today. I know how it is, I tell you. A man gets tired of the same routine day after day, after week, after month. Oh, you do understand then. (laughs) 
Of course I do, young feller. Of course I do. Well, that helps. Jane says I should let off steam at her. That's what wives are for. But I don't like to do it any more than I have to. Well, you got a fine woman, Johnny. A real fine woman. Take good care of her. Well, my horse should have drunk its fill and rested good by now. Guess I'll be moseying along. You're not staying for the night? Please do. We'd just love to have you. I'd uh, sure like to, awful bad. I mean that. But I gotta get back to the low country before dark. Uh, Stumpy, uh, you won't say anything about this to Bill, will you? Why, you haven't said anything that doesn't bear repeating, sonny. You... Not a word have you said wrong. Well, I know it, but it sounds kind of silly now that I got it off my chest. But, well, you're the only excitement we've had in months. We don't even get a chance to go to church in, anymore. Johnny, sometimes it's hard to understand why the Lord puts Christians in a certain place for a particular job. But he's got a reason. Now, if I were you, I'd pray about your restlessness. Ask him to make you content. I have prayed, and I asked the Lord to do that. How hard and how long did you pray? Well, I prayed that the Lord would give me some excitement. Sonny, you'd better change your prayer. Seems to me you're not seeking God's will, but your own. I am. How's that? You pray for excitement instead of asking the Lord to help you adjust to this lonely life. That's the whole story, Bill. Thought I'd better tell you, in case you had a suggestion for him. I'm glad you did tell me, old friend. Now, let me see here. Mm -hmm. You looking at the rest and recreation schedule for the lonesome outposts? Yes. Uh, Johnny and Jane are due for two weeks rest and recreation in a couple of weeks, Stumpy. But I don't see any reason why they can't have it now. Charlie can take over while they're gone. You know what that young whippersnapper's doing? I know he's probably chafing at the bit, if I know Johnny. Uh, worse than that. Instead of asking the Lord to make him content and happy up there, he's asking the Lord for excitement. Well, Stumpy... There's one Christian that doesn't realize the power of prayer. Bill, we wanted to stop by and thank you for letting us have a couple of weeks back in town. This is wonderful, especially good for Johnny. I'll be all right now. Honestly, I will. Thanks again. <laughs> well, you don't have to thank me. You earned it. You know, you look like two shiny-faced youngsters going to the big town for the first time. Oh, this is a wonderful surprise and such a treat. Well, get along now and stop wasting time talking to me. Okay, Bill. I want you to know we really do appreciate this. We'll see you before we go back. Uh, yes, I want to have a chat with you, Johnny, before you go back to the station. But uh, we'll make it on company time. I'll beat it. Yes, Scram. sir. Mr. Chief Ranger, here I am after two glorious weeks of rest and recreation, change of scenery and all that sort of stuff. I'm ready, willing, and raring to get back to work up at the North End Station. Say, what's the big silence about? Something wrong? Aren't you glad to see the change in me? Um. You're not so sure it's real? Maybe you think I'll slip back into my old frame of mind, huh? That's part of it, Johnny. I know those outpost ranger stations are lonesome at times, 
Some of them all the time, but... There's one thing you've done that disturbs me considerably. Uh-oh. I think you've done this in a light vein, not thinking what it could mean. Now, I'm sure it purely lacks sound judgment on your part, but I thought I should caution you about it. Okay. I'm willing to take my licking like a man. What is it? I'm not talking to you as your boss now, Johnny, but as a fellow Christian. I think you got the wrong attitude about your job and your prayer life. Oh, is that all that's bothering you? It is. Well, forget it. The Lord knows I was just talking through my hat. Is that the way you pray, Johnny? Talking through your hat? Well, no, of course not. This was just a slip of the tongue, so to speak. I mean, well, Bill, I've prayed for the Lord to deal with my restlessness. It didn't help. So I just prayed for excitement. Johnny... You've only been a Christian for about a year now, with much to learn about the Christian life. Have you really prayed about this matter? Or have you gotten careless in your prayer life? Bill, I did pray about it. The Lord didn't answer, so he must want me to try something else, don't you think? Don't try to convince me. You'd better have another talk with him. Charlie sure was a neat housekeeper. Oh, it's so good to be home again. Isn't it, Johnny? Johnny? Huh? Uh, what'd you say, Janie? What's on your mind? You've been moody all the way home, like you were a thousand miles away. Hmm? I have. You're not slipping back into the old mood already. No, no, it's something Bill said to me. What? Oh, it's about my asking the Lord for excitement up here at the North End. What did he say? Well, he said I ought to make sure I wasn't asking amiss. You know, like the Bible says. Johnny, didn't I tell you that, too? Well, I'm only human. I make mistakes. Don't we all? But, well, maybe we ought to ask God to keep us contented with our life here. Sure. Say, I've got to turn in early so I can hit the trail with new vim and vigor. <laughs> that vacation did wonders for you. I'll say it did. There'll be no more grumbling from me. from riding around in the car and trailer. I sure the horses. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing, Stumpy. Uh, going to take a ride up to see Johnny and Jane? A uh, trail right there to the North End Station is 15 miles of pretty rugged riding. Be a good workout for the horses and us. I'm tempted, but we better not. Johnny and mine think I'm snooping. Well, you got a point there, young feller. You wonder how he's doing. Yeah, so do I. Well, we're going to ride around here and chin all day. Better get back to work. Yes, I guess so. We'll head back to Naughty Pine. I know the Lord will work things out. Time's not to slam that door. Nag, nag, nag. Johnny, please. I don't mean to nag you, but... Well, I'm just concerned about waking the baby. I'm sorry, honey. That wasn't a nice thing for me to say. <laughs> well, you're forgiven and it's forgotten. But I worry when you get this way, Johnny. 
You were so sure once that this job was the Lord's will for you. If there were only some excitement. You know what I've done for the past month? I get up in the morning, and I get on my horse. I ride the trail all day. And I come back at night, and I go to bed, and I get up and do the same thing all over again. The same thing all month long. It's like bread and water for 30 days. Johnny. Do you know what I do for diversion? Well, I'm afraid to ask. I'll tell you. I ride backwards in the saddle. <laughs> you don't. Yes, I do. And do you know why? Well, I'm afraid to ask that, too. Well, you don't have to. I ride backwards in the saddle, hoping that when I turn around, there'll be a grizzly in the trail, just daring me to knock the twig right off his shoulder. Not really. Yes, really. Do you know I can't even find a rattlesnake close to the trail? I haven't heard a cougar scream in a year. Honey, believe me, it's like riding trail in a cemetery out there. Even the birds are dull. All they do is sing the same old song. A skunk crossed my trail the other day. He didn't even stop. He didn't seem the least bit interested that I was there. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, but I know I shouldn't laugh when you're so serious. You're right. It's no laughing matter. I'm so desperate for excitement that, uh, well, I've asked the Lord to send me a whole bushel of it. Johnny, I thought your attitude was all straightened out. Oh, it's all right, Janie. This time I prayed sincerely. It wasn't idle talk. I meant every single word of it. Oh, but Johnny, the Lord might rain excitement on you. Then let it rain excitement. I'd welcome it. Whoa, boy. If you two aren't a sight. Yeah, I don't know who's more disgusted, me or the horse. Johnny, please, not again tonight. Why not? Even the Lord doesn't want me to have any excitement. Come on, I'll fix you a nice supper. Okay, I'll put my disgusted horse in the barn and be in in a little while. Supper will be on in ten minutes. <laughs> better? Yeah, I guess I do. Johnny, what's that? That's a cougar. Lock the door behind me. No, Johnny, no. Stay in the house, Jane. I'm taking my rifle. Oh, Johnny, be careful. He sounds awfully big and terribly mad. He sure does, doesn't he? He sure does. He must be a whopper and plenty mad. Is he gone? Well, I sure hope not. Oh, you're not going after him tonight. Not in the dark. Not unless he gets pesty. But I'll be after him at the crack of dawn. Johnny! Johnny Bishop! Who's that? I don't know. Johnny! Johnny Bishop! I need help! I hear you! I'm coming after you. Jane, stay inside. That sounds like Moose McBain. Stay inside the cabin no matter what. Oh, Johnny, the cougar might attack you. The way I feel. If that cat bites me, I'll bite him right back. <laughs> Cougar sure did a job on you. Oh, Moose, what happened that got you so clawed up? Well, oh, Moose has been working this north end country foot and horseback since I was knee high to a tree stump. Uh, eh, only Stumpy Jenkins is a deader shot than old Moose. <laughs> Easy, Johnny. Oh, I'm sorry, Moose. Well, I'm finished bandaging. Uh, yes, ma'am. Old Moose is. Shot every kind of animal and varmint from a grizzly to a chipmunk. And 
And never has anything like this happened. Like what? I missed. My bullet ricocheted off in a rock and uh, hit the cougar in the left side. And then, man, he lit up for me. You made a mistake. Ma'am, when old Moose has got something dead in his sights, he don't miss. Never. <laughs> You better be careful now, Moose. Yeah, I will, Johnny. It sure puzzles me about that cougar. How could I miss? Looks like you'll have a couple of weeks in bed to figure that out. You can stay in here until the doc fixes you up. See you later, Moose. Johnny, do you have to go after that wounded cougar? I sure do, honey. Boy, this excitement is great stuff. Oh, Johnny, please. It makes your blood spurt and your heart pound and gives a man a feeling it's good to be alive. Oh, dear, we're going to have a storm. Yeah. Well, I got to fill my trail pack. Okay, but first I'd better see that the windows are shut. I got it. Hello? Uh, Johnny. Yes, sir. Now, listen carefully. You've got to make like Paul Revere down the valley. That cloudburst that just passed over has caused a flash flood. Now, get going. Yes, sir. Just in time. Oh, boy. This is what I've been waiting for. Excitement. I just got back from the valley. That was just a little exercise, Johnny. I want that cougar shot in pronto. Okay, I'll get him. Now don't hang up. You'll get the cougar in your spare time. What? Frenchy DeSalle is going to weed out runt trees in the virgin stand. You get down there and mark the seed trees. And get that cougar, too. send me out here to find out what you're doing. What I'm doing? Well, I'm marking seed trees and tracking cougar. Uh, two big diamondbacks are seen close to visitor trails two days ago. Uh, you got to get them. Okay. As soon as I get around to it. Well, better make it before somebody gets bit. Did you get the cougar? No, but I got the two rattlers and the trees marked. Well, get the cougar. By the way, there's a sick bear over in Section 22. See what's wrong with him. And, uh, 
I know. Get the cougar. Ranger, my child is lost. Okay, I'll find him. What's the matter, Ranger? You tired? Did you get the cougar? I will. Believe me, I will. Ranger, I need your help. My car ran out of gas. Did you get the cougar? I will if everything else will let me. Really, I will. Never mind everything else. Get the cougar. And by the way, get the cougar. Find the child. Get some gas. Sick bear. Count the trees. Flash flood. Rattlesnakes. Get the cougar. Get the cougar. Get I, the cougar. I take it all back. I'm only one human being. I can't handle all this excitement at once. I get tired. 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 Johnny, Johnny. What? What? Wake up. You're dreaming. Uh, oh. Oh. I guess I've been working too hard lately. Johnny, glad to see you. Come on in. You'll have to help me to a chair, because right now the only thing keeping me from falling is this door frame. <laughs> sure, old boy. Yeah, sit right there in that chair. Thanks, Bill. Well, Johnny, what brings you here at the crack of dawn? Crack of dawn? It's eight o'clock. I've been on the trail since four. Is that right? Well, how are things up at the north end station? Hot enough? Hot enough? Oh, boy. I'll say it's hot enough. Bill, I've got to have help. I've just got to have help, and that's all there is to it. If I remember correctly, you're the young fellow that's looking for excitement. Not anymore. Believe me. I take everything back that I said. I take it back willingly. Well, that's kind of switch, Johnny. Going back two weeks, you were singing an entirely different tune. A different tune with an entirely different tone. Well, I, I think I've learned my lesson. I see more clearly God's will for my life now. Good boy. Now I'll send Stumpy back with you until the pressure is off in your area. Thanks, Bill. Thanks a lot. I want you to rest in town for the remainder of the day. Stumpy can pack up and go after the cougar. I think you've had enough Don't excitement. Don't say it. Don't say that word, please. At least not until I've had a chance to rest up. <laughs> You know, the Lord has a place for every Christian, and every Christian should be in the place the Lord wants him to be. Now, sometimes this may be difficult, since the Lord needs Christian nobodies as well as somebodies. Many times we're only too happy to do the Lord's will if it fits in with our plans. Otherwise, we get just a wee bit ornery. Well, the Lord needs privates as well as generals in his army. We Christians don't always understand why we're put in a certain place to do a certain job. But boys and girls, you just remember the lesson that Johnny Bishop learned. Well, see you next week for more adventure with Ranger Bill! <laughs> Ranger Bill is a Moody Radio Network production. <laughs>